Okay guys, I'm beginning to put the cam back in. What I did in the cylinders is I sprayed some WD-40 in the cylinders and then I blew them out. That looks like my garage is still dripping. We've had torrential rains here. Matter of fact, it's still raining. It's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow. Some of the little burrows around here are flooded. They actually had to get evacuated. That's how bad it's been raining around here. So this is a good time to work on this bike. But yeah, that's the first thing I did is I rotated, I, I sprayed WD-40 in both cylinders. I rotated both of them and um, I blew them both out with compressed air. Before I did that, I looked real good with the endoscope in that rear cylinder and there's, there's no more debris in it. So I dodged the bullet with that. So I'm beginning to put the camshaft in and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a few things that are involved in doing that. Okay, uh, you guys know you have to line, see that little line on, on, the, uh, on the bottom cog, that little vertical line. And then you got that little round dot on the bottom of the camshaft. Those both ha those have to be lined up. Now, since we 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 have this, um, I call them pumpers. But uh, focus. But that dot right there, it's about I guess that's about what uh, eight o'clock. That has to be pointed toward the pumper. <clears throat> now I'm back at a camshaft. There's two thrust washers. Yeah, let me get my little pointer. There's that one there, and then there's this one here with the two sides. See how that see how that gets stopped by the by the by the two sides there? Let's see if we can turn that. Oh, we don't want to pull you out. The flat part of that back thrust washer got to be pointed up like that because. I don't know if you guys can see. But, uh, okay, you can't see that. But the bottom part of that is, like, rounded. And, uh... There, you can see it now. That's why the bottom part of that wing thrust washer back there, the, the round part has to be in the bottom, because that fits in, like, that little... It's like a little round groove it fits in. I don't think you can call it a groove, but a cutout. There we have our, our dot and our line lined up. And then the... Uh, that one there, 8 o'clock, which I can't... I don't know why this isn't focusing. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull the camshaft back out. I'm going to put my lifter blocks in first, and then the lifters, and I'm going to hold the lifters up with magnets. But first we're going to clean, we're going to clean these surfaces with acetone. Then I got my gasket cinch, where is that? I'm going to apply that to this surface. I'll also apply it to the underneath of the of the uh, the lifter of the tappet blocks, and I'm going to apply it to both top and bottom of the gaskets. So that way, this will get a real good seal. And by the way, these bolts here are 120 inch pounds. Okay, 120 inch pounds. So let's pull the camshaft out. 
Here, I'll give you a better, a better view, guys, of these two washers. See, this is a uh, thrush washer. <clears throat> and that's that one there I'm talking about. Okay, let's set these over here out of the way. And by the way, this is the 585 cam. So, all right, let me get my acetone. I also took my uh, my oil tappet screen out. There, and I cleaned that out. There was a little bit of fuzz in that. So that's cleaned out again. Okay, guys, we put one lifter, one tappet block in. Now, if you use the gasket sealer, be very careful because there is holes where the oil has to get inside the block. So make sure you don't cover those holes up. Now, the O-rings and the uh, and the metal washers are out of here. I still got an O-ring up inside the head here. I'm going to replace all those. So I got my I got my magnets, and we're going to push the lifters up inside there next. And then we're going to do that tap it block there. Yeah, the weather around here, guys, has been crazy. We have a very mild winter here, but the rain and thunder makes up for it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna submerge these in oil just to get them oiled up. That I haven't done yet, so let's do that right now. All right, let me get my magnets ready. Got some oil here. And I just want to coat these. And then before we seal this up, I'm going to take a good look in there, make sure there's no debris in there. Okay. Got you all oiled up, and let's get you oiled up. Now uh, we're going to shove this up inside there. Man, I hope I don't have to lay down to do this. Here, let's do the front one first, guys. I might have to lay down to get that back one. Uh, let's try the back one, maybe. Let's see what's going on there. I wonder if I should put these in with the lifter blocks. Seems like that's a thing to do. Maybe that's what we're going to do. It seems like I can't get them in. All right, that one then. My magnet trick guys don't work. But what I did is make sure that wheel's up inside. I might slide down. Man, I thought for sure my magnet trick was going to work, but it's just the magnet force isn't reaching the the top of the top. Of it. All right, let's get the front one. Now 
Now the wind's starting up outside. I got my dog outside too, guys. I did hone the inside of these blocks. Man, I'll tell you, that's a beast to get in, boy. Is, is that going in crooked or what? See, I can't see. I cannot get that back one in, boys. Seems like she's going in straight. I don't get it. put that in I gotta lay down guys and get a better view of it okay guys we're gonna put the lifters in like this now I oiled them up a little bit okay that's how they gotta go in Now, like I said, if you use gasket cinch, see a little hole there? Watch you don't cover those up. I was kind of hoping I could use my my magnets. To stop these lifters from sliding down, but looks like I can't. All right. Now I am going to use a little bit of Loctite. Just I'm going to put just a drop on these bolts. Man, I should have worn my goddamn. Uh, My sports band stopped my glasses from sliding off my face. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That one can go back in. All right, we'll let the we'll, if the sap would slide down, that's nice and oiled up in there. I think we'll be able to get them back in again. Now this rear, the rear bolt, I have to put it in with a pair of hemostats. Now 
พอพลาดเนี่ยนี่คือความยากที่สุดที่จะเข้าไปในทุกอย่างนะทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้าไปในทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้าไปในทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้าไปในทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้าไปในทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้าไปในทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้าไปในทุกอย่างนี้เราได้เข้All right. Now, let me torque down this block. It's at 12 inch pounds. Let's go back up in there. There we go. Yeah, if I had guys some kind of a magnet, a different type of magnet, man, it would work because uh, now my glasses are fogging up. I got the sports. I got I got the sports band. See it? So you can't. See it? Now my glasses are fogging up. Now I gotta go get a fan, right? Uh, oh my Lord in heaven! Oh, that's right. I better not say that, otherwise I could get demonetized for even saying anything about God or the Lord. Say. That's what I was hoping I could do. Now, possibly, if I break one of these round magnets, maybe, you know, maybe we'll give that a try. Let me break one of these round magnets. Uh, that'll make my cam insulation a breeze if I can do that. Let me see if I can do that, guys. I'll be back. All right, I was able to break that round magnet in several pieces. So let's see if that'll do the trick. Yeah, I was doing the trick, all right. All right, guys. That's holding it up. How about this back one? Huh? Back, how about the back, boy? Oh, now the, uh, you know what, I'm going to have to put something in between these guys. It's working, it's just they're attracted to each other. I put a... Guys, you gotta work. I tell you, it's really giving me a fight, boy. Why isn't it holding? It's holding one of them up. What did what did what did this thing do? It lost its 
Blossett Field. guys yeah I have to figure this out man and uh, I'll have to get back to you guys on this because it works on one of them but it's not working on the other it's almost like it loses its field with both of them in there All right, I put the, uh, on the front one, I put the lifter, the uh, lifters in before I put the block on the engine. As you see, my magnets are working on that side, but one slid down, so... We'll have to finagle the cam in, guys. And... I'll tell you, I will tell you, it's easier with the tank off. You know, that's why I left the tank off until I'm done with this. Alright. Let me pause you guys here. Alright, we got all our fasteners done. Now we're going to torque them down. I think we're cool. All right. I'll tell you, the wind is crazy outside, guys. It is crazy. I'm going to put the cam in and then I'm going to take a break because my knees are screaming. Like I said, I put a little bit of oil around this. Here's the thrush washer. And then this one here. All right, guys. What I'm going to try is a piece of cardboard shaped like a V. Matter of fact, it's got to be cut down. But that's the idea. We're going to get it in there, and that's going to hold up the lifters, hopefully, while I slide the cam in. All right. Let's get down in here. I got my cam ready. My thrust, my crazy end washer and the 
and the and the one spacers on it or whatever that's called a thrust washer okay that's how we're gonna do her just like that Uh, I got to turn you around a little bit. Hope my head's not in your way, guys. If I only had help, huh? Now I don't have help, guys. I don't. I don't have no help. I'm in it by myself, guys. I'm in this all by myself. That's not working either. It's a nice idea, but it ain't working. I got a bad shake too. tell you these could be tricky to get in because what happens is the lifters drop and uh, what you got to do is you got to get in there with something like this long pick to lift them up You know, and at the same time, you got to make sure your marks are lined up. That back gasket's going in right. Or back gasket, that back washer. And having a, a pair of fogged up glasses doesn't, that doesn't help. Top guy, very top man. Very tough. Very, very tough. Right, those lifters aren't fucking aren't sliding down so it must be the ones on the other side must be the front ones all right I got I have to get up on my bad back here All right. All right. I see what's going on. This top it here slid down a little bit. And that's what's happening.
Okay, now that wash that uh, thrush washer with the wings. That's got to be lifted up a little. Okay, he's in this little house. My dots are lined up. I still don't think it's in all the way. Okay, the rear tappet, the rear inside one, has to be lifted up. Did you see it? Did you see how this is wobbling a little bit? It's not supposed to go like that. It has to be solid. It has to be all wind. Oh, no, you know what? I think it's the front one. I'll tell you what, let me get my magnets off of here. I'm going to see if I can pull them up. Look at that mess. Here, let's do this. Get a socket with a magnet on the end of it. Thing I just missed with my garbage pickup. Guys, I'm going to take him off a of recording, man, because apparently I'm missing something here. All right, guys. Oh, don't tell me I left my glasses upstairs. Man, I'll tell you, I'll never learn my lesson, boy. All right.
see it starts up very easy now I still I have to readjust those push rods because I'll tell you why those tappets those, those new tappets I got for these I don't think they're filled with any oil when I installed them in the engine so you know once the engine starts up the tappets fill themselves with oil. Some people say they come filled with oil from the factory, but guys, I was able to push them down. I was able to push them down by hand. They're filled with oil now, but they weren't when I, you know, maybe yours were, but mine weren't. So I have to make another push rod, the final push rod adjustment to this. Um, uh, Quickie push rods went in. There, the quickie push rods are a little bit of a pain because of that lock nut. You got to make sure it doesn't slide down. You know, then you got to get a tool to pull. You know, so what you got to do is once you start winding the quickie bottom down, you got to make sure you you put that lock nut. Make sure it catches some threads so it doesn't go down inside there. And um, I replaced all the O rings on the tubes. They're all brand new. I put apparently I, I put them on right this time. Uh, the bike now has a brand new coil. I'm not putting Champion spark plugs in this anymore. I have the other ones in there. Uh, I, I got a, I, I put all new bolts for the tank. I got new tank bolts on. And. Uh, before I put the battery cover on, I'm going to make sure my uh, my positive and negative lines are aren't loose. You know, I might as well do that. Um, I think I have to adjust the carburetor a little bit. I have to adjust it a little bit more on it, and uh, and that's it. You know, so it turns out I didn't have to take the heads off. But, you know, that was a part of the spark plug, guys, that fell down inside the cylinder. And, um, yeah, so we got that out. Apparently, there was no damage, thank God. Thank God there was no damage. That endoscope paid for itself. And uh, what else can I tell you guys? Yeah, well, that's about it. I, I have to make one more adjustment to those push rods because I don't think those tappets were filled with oil. You know, so to make your your final adjustments, it's got to be done well when the tappets are filled with oil. So I'm going to do I'm going to do the push rods over. What what S&S engines suggest for adjusting push rods? I mean, I, I went over this, guys, a dozen times, if not 30, 40 times. I actually, in the last two days, I adjusted my push rod six times to make sure I had it right. What s, &S wants you to do is, first, the, the, you take out your spark plugs. You put the bike in its highest gear, which in this case is sixth gear, because it's easier to turn the engine over in your highest gear or in your, uh, yeah, I guess that's highest, right? Sixth gear. To, you know, to take the spark plugs out, or you're not going to be able to turn the engine over with the spark plugs in. And uh, it, lets, it doesn't matter what cylinder you start with first, okay? But I started with the front one. And s, &S says, rotate the engine so you can see the intake push rod go up and then come down and then you have to make sure the piston is at top dead center which means the highest point the piston can go up and what I did is I put a piece of paper I laid a piece of paper over the spark plug hole so when the piston goes at top dead center the air that's inside the cylinder, it blows that piece of paper off. And I also, let me see if I got my straw here.
well, it's around here somewhere. But I had a straw about so long, and I stuck that in the spark plug hole. And you can tell that the piston is at its highest point with that straw. So the piston has to be at top dead center, the highest point possible in the cylinder. And then you watch that the intake rod, it goes up and then down. And you'll see both push rods will go like that. Of, of your, 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 your first cylinder. You'll see the push rod going like that. And that's when you know both of those are closed. Both of the, uh, the push rods are, are both, both of the valves are closed. And um, with the quickies, if there's any valve lash, which, mean, which means the push rod, if the, if the push rod is loose at all, you take all the looseness out. You make sure the push rod isn't loose anymore. And then you turn the, um, the push rod adjuster four turns. I, I got a little white piece of paint. I put some paint on one side. And then that, because that piece of paint allows you to know that you, how many times you're turning the adjuster around. And then you do that to the, to the exhaust. And then you do the same thing to the rear cylinder. The same process goes to that one. And um, the tappets took about 10 minutes to bleed down, but that's because they weren't filled with oil. Okay, now they might take up to 20 or 30 minutes. So I'll have to see how long it takes. But yeah, that, that's the way SNS says to do it on their website. If you, you keyword SNS engines, it'll take you to their website, and then you look under tech. Under tech, it has push rods. You click on that, and it shows you, it even has pictures on how to uh, adjust your push rods on these engines. But I, guys, I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm getting old fast. I can't do this no more. I cannot crawl around on the floor anymore and work on this bike. It is destroying me. My knees can't take it, my hips can't take it, my back can't take it, man. I can't I cannot do this anymore. It is it is killing me very fast. I wish I would have never changed the cam. And I'll tell you what, I'm not doing nothing else to the motorcycle. I'm not painting it. I'm sorry, I'm not doing nothing else to it. I am done. I just, I just, I cannot do it no more. You know, I've been, I've been working, man, since I was 12 years, maybe even earlier than that. I've been working since I was 12 years old. I've been laboring. And I am overworked and I am burned out. I am just totally almost destroyed I'm going to re try to retire next year because I believe my company's trying to phase me out okay I hope I'm wrong but I think they're trying to phase me out I think I think they have plans to get rid of me so I'm going to try to beat them to the punch as soon as I have the project done with this house, I'm going to look for another house somewhere. If I find a nice house down south, I'm, I told my wife, how do you feel if we move down south? If I find a house down there that I'm able to get, I'm going to get it. Because I'll, I'll tell you, man, around here, it's horrible. I'm not going to use no profanity about it, but it is horrible around here. It's, it, the weather is absolutely horrible. It has rained here so much, we have no water shortage here, okay? There's, there's so many areas around here that are flooded from the rain. It's, it's unbelievable. It has rained so much. Now it's cold. You know, uh... And like I told you guys about the roads, we only have a handful of roads, and they shut half of them down that are digging this. I saw them. I, I saw them. They're they're replacing 
all the water lines and all the water valves in western Pennsylvania. Matter of fact, I think it's the whole state they're doing that. So last year they dug up a part of the road down here. They patched it, okay? I think it was Monday. They dug it up again. They patched it again. What do you think they did on Friday? They dug it up again and patched it again. They're doing things around here just to burn time and to just keep their people working. That's you know it's all they that's all they're doing around. I wouldn't be surprised if 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 organized crime has their hand in PennDOT and in the and in all the, the road construction. It wouldn't surprise me for a minute. So anyway, that's why the bike wasn't starting, because that exhaust valve wasn't opening up. I don't, I, I don't know if that lifter crapped out on me, man, or if it was just my st sheer stupidity that I, I didn't put the lock nut on the push rod. You guys, you guys seen? I got a, I got the lifters. The push rods aren't bent. I'm holding on to all those parts. You know, any of you need them? Too bad. They're not for sale. I'm holding on to them. Because this stuff, man, it ain't cheap and it ain't easy to get. <coughs> so next step is we're going to make the final adjustment on the push rods. Then this should be done. I'm also putting Loctite on those push rod lock nuts. So they don't slide down. There's nothing online about doing that, but I am doing that. Because I don't want those boys and girls coming loose. Well, maybe the girls can come loose. But I don't want those boys coming loose. 